Stock. Hi everyone. Today, this is about the dog that I'm going to talk. So you probably have a dog. I mean, I don't know if you have one, but you know someone who have a dog. You might know someone who is maybe disabled or elderly. And they have difficulty to bring their dog outside for a walk. You also might know someone who have a dog, who the dog is elderly, or the dog might be sick, or the dog is scared to go outside when there is thunderstorm, or when there is rain outside, or the dog will not go outside when it's very cold or too hot, or you know, <laughs> I mean. There is a lot of uh, different scenarios. And uh, last year, I start buying the potty. It's a dog potty. It's uh, a kind of big pad made out of plastic. And uh, there is a different kind. There is a one, just the normal, uh, I mean, the normal pad. And there is the other one. This is a potty with a... Uh, a little uh, drawer. They call that a drawer or a tray. This mm. one is very good. I really like it. Uh, the one uh, without a drawer, we don't use for uh, my dog anymore. It's very difficult to clean because you have to bring the things over there, you know, to empty it and then to clean it. So finally, it's not very interesting. Or you will have to sponge it. I mean, that's crazy. That's just crazy. Uh, the one with the drawer is very easy. You take the drawer, you don't have on your hand or anything, you know, because it doesn't touch your hand, so you don't have your hand on you. Um, you empty it, then after you you clean it. So for cleaning it, what I do, I just uh, take um, a spray, a sprayer with a product inside, um, then I clean it. And I also take the, the full... Uh, the full potty and I do the same and I shower it, you know, and uh, spray it before. Um, I read that some people uh, should only, I mean, it's written that we should only uh, clean it like one, uh, twice a week. I really don't know how people do that because I can't. You know, anytime my dog use it, this is instantly is going to be emptied and is going to be cleaned, washed. I mean, I'm not going to keep this kind of things. This is odors, and you don't want to have that. And also, this is not to replace things, you know, the fact that the dog goes outside. It's just, you know, temporary when there is a, a special uh, problem. For example, your dog is hurt. She cannot really uh, go outside as usual or you know, for example, it's for a person that uh, is elderly and cannot uh, um, go outside so easily for a long walk or, you know. Or, for example, uh, I mean, look in the United States, uh, the climate is crazy. It can be so cold or so hot, you know, and sometimes you cannot always put your dog for a long time outside or your dog may not want to go. You know, there is a lot of things like uh, the 4th of July with um, the firecrackers. My dog will not go outside. I tried. I went outside with her. I said it was okay. You know, hey, no, no. She was in front of the door. And, you know, I was the one stupid in the yard waiting for her. But not her. She was already nearby the door. Like, what are you doing outside? Why you stay? Are you crazy? And she was looking at me like, why don't she let me go back inside? So she was not doing anything. And first thing she goes inside, up she goes inside on the floor. Ha! What I try to say is, as soon as she enters in the house, she goes on the floor. So I needed to find a way to prevent it. And you cannot ask your dog to hold for 12 hours and they stop with their firecrackers. 
Sometimes it's for, you know, until two in the morning. They put their firecrackers and it's most of the day. What do you want? I mean, I cannot have the dog going on my floor. So I had to, to find a solution and I bought, by, sorry, I bought those trays and they are very good. I mean, this one is good with the little uh, uh, drawer. Um, I think also it's better uh, if you have a little puppy and you want to train your puppy, it's better to train him directly uh, on this little pad that you can clean instead of buying those pads that you have to throw in the garbage, which uh, one use is not good also for pollution and for your money because you have to buy over and over and over. But here, I mean, I will buy uh, another one because uh, when this one is clean, you know, I, I let it uh, truthfully dry to make sure, you know, there is not going to have mold or anything like that. So I will need to have another one. And uh, there is, um, there are different uh, size. I know there is a little size if you have a dog uh, such like a Chihuahua. And there is, for example, uh, the medium. I have the medium one for my dog. And you see what is my dog. My dog is a big beagle. You know, it's not the regular big beagle. Then they are small. This is a big one. Uh, she has a good size. She is, uh, you know, over 32 pounds. So she is, you know, not the little. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, the beagle are much smaller than that. But she is a, a pure breed. I didn't uh, want her as a pure breed or anything like that. It's just... I was uh, on the Craigslist and uh, they were this ad, you know, so I wanted to adopt her. Uh, the people gave it to me and uh, this is uh, just that. And I know this dog was uh, um, not willing to, to hunt because they told me that. So, and, but she's uh, scared about uh, a big noise like uh, thunderstorm. She doesn't like thunderstorm. I like. Most, I mean, of dogs do not like thunderstorm. Also, I don't see when, for example, it's uh, raining for so long. I don't feel this is very nice to let the dog, you know, in a pouring rain, just to tell her, go outside and push her outside and say, go outside, you need to stay. I mean, it's not very nice. You know, I mean, you will not do that to human. You will not push them outside and say, go, stay outside. No. So... When I say push, it doesn't mean push her like that physically. That means push her to go. Um, you know, I'm vegan, so I'm not going to push her. And you know, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> uh, what else I wanted to say about that? So the training for the dog, uh, I said. Well, ah, uh, oh yeah, I I am not paid for uh, saying uh, you should buy that for your dogs because they, nobody of this company are going to give me any money about that. I wish. Hey, company, if you hear me, I am making uh, uh, some advertisement about your pad. So please, <laughs> no, it's not going to happen. They don't, they're not going to give me any money, you know. So I wish. <laughs> but um, like I said, those pads are very good. And it's going to save money to do that. And also, it's going to be less constraint on your dog. But this is not replacing the fact you have to go outside. It's just sometimes, this is the middle of the night, you have an house, you have stairs, you don't feel good, or you're tired, you're just, oh, you're almost in your dream again. You don't want to just fall on the floor or fall in the stairs and, you know, open the door, waiting for the dog. Then she's going to bark outside and she's going not to come back in half an hour. You still have to wait and, you know, <laughs> deprive it of sleep during this time. Well, she knows or he knows there is a little potty here. Always the same place, and uh, yeah. So I let you go, and uh, if you buy this, uh, I mean any of those, I say the one is the tray is the best. I even see that there is uh, something with an automatic flush. It seems to be good. I have no idea where to buy this one. I don't know if it's commercialized or not, but I, I saw that. Um, it's kind of interesting what they can do for the dog. Right. So if you you have some experience about uh, this little uh, potty corner, you know, just uh, please let a little comment and tell me how is uh, going yours. 
you know, mine, uh, it took a very long time for her to be trained about that. And even though you have to really put her here, and uh, if you let her go and say go, she will not, she will go nearby. You need to be here and tell her where to go and watch. Uh, my uh, little uh, tip, I mean, I don't know, for you, it will not be the same word. Because my dog understands some French and some English, of course, because it's when I'm talking to the boss at home. We talk with my son, the boss, uh, languages at home. Um, so I told her in French, pipi, bisou, miam, miam. Pipi, it's P-I-P-I, -P -I, the French one, the French words, and that means to go to the bathroom. So I show her and I do psss, that she understands, and I say bisou. Bisou is when you kiss, you know, uh, B I S O U S. So I do. Yeah, she knows. She knows what it is to to be kissed. She's kissed all the time. This dog. So she knows. <laughs> she always come in the morning and in the evening. She will never go. In the morning, she kisses me, and uh, it's the same. She knows she have to wait for a kiss. In the evening, she will not go to bed until she got a kiss. I mean, this is the way it is. Uh, for example, I told her, uh, uh, bisou, or I said, kiss during the day. She will stop and she will wait that I come to kiss her. I mean, I have been training my dog like that for years. I mean, those are the one that I have before who passed away. And they know. They know what it means, uh, bis, kiss, stuff, like that. And after uh, the pipi bisou, I told her, miam, miam. So miam, miam, see, M-I-A-M. And again, M-I-A-M. This is the fact, you know, when you, you want to eat. So the dog knows that she's going to have a little uh, something after. Uh, so you need to, when you, you tell her that, she really needs to have the little reward because this can be a chickpea or a little dog dry food or anything, you know, she likes. Uh, for me, this is what she eats. I don't know for yours what it will be, but... I uh, notice it's work when she has a little reward like that and uh, not to chat on her uh, if she misses the spot, you know, because if you begin to chat on her, she will think that going to the bathroom, it's like a problem and she will just uh, hold it and she can become to be sick. So uh, I don't, uh, I try to make her understand this is her potty and if she goes correctly, she's going to have something in return. Okay, so this is all what I have to say for today. So enjoy your day and bye-bye. Thanks for listening.